Swanner. He is 3-0 in the playoffs with a 3.66 goals against average. 19-4 during the regular season, 3.59. He was voted the AISA's goalkeeper of the year. It's uh, A.J. Lakowiecki in the net for Louisville tonight. Petroni played last night. A.J. in the playoffs is 1-0, gave up four goals in that game. And during the regular season, 13-7 with a 4.17 goals against average. Starting lineup on the field for Canton. It is the forwards, Rudy Pikasinski and Kia. With Bob Bosmeyer at midfield, Tim Tima and Oscar Pisano will be on defense for Canton. Your forwards for Louisville are Zoran Savick and the player coach, Jim Gabera. Chris Hellenkamp at midfield. And the defenders are Saeed Bakhtiari and Caleb Suri. Just about ready to get game two underway here at the Civic Center. Louisville, the visiting team in black and gold. Gold and black jerseys, black shorts. Invaders in the home gray with black shorts and black numerals and red and black trim. Louisville, the visitors, will control the kickoff to start the first period. The Invaders defend the goal to our right. Louisville defends the goal to our left. Surrey pushes it ahead in the Canton zone. Savick shot wide, deflected out by Vossmeyer, knocked back in, but Pisano clears it up against the sideboards. Oscar double teamed in the corner. Ball hits the referee. Savick and Pisano fight. Savick clears it out front, but Rudy Pikasinski steps in front and dumps it in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Out on the right side to Tima. Tim Tima across the red line. Lead ball for Pikasinski on the run with Surrey in the right corner in the Louisville zone. Lakowiecki comes out in front of the goal mouth and scoops that one up as it goes in the penalty area. Long lead for Zoran Savick. Bossmeyer had some position on the board. Savick able to get away, shoots, he scores! 
And Louisville jumps out on top in the first minute on the goal by Zoran Savic, just 41 seconds into the game. That is Savic's third goal of the playoffs. The other two both came last night. And he also has two assists. Lackawecki picks up the assist. And Louisville leads 1-0 early in the game. Savick was the second leading scorer in the league during the regular season with 77 points. Rudy Pikasinski of Canton led the league with 81. Rudy had the ball knocked away in the corner by Surrey. And coming up with it is Savick, who just scored the only goal of the game so far. Lead for Hillenkamp is too far, and it rolls in the box where Swanner controls. Outlet for Kia, knocked away by Bakhtiari, but Bakhtiari had the foot up high, and that's a dangerous play foul. First foul on either team in the game. We've played one minute. Louisville leads one to nothing. Pisano back edge of the midfield circle against Savick. Dumps it back in the penalty area for Swanner. Jamie's in the goal arc with it. Outlet on the right side at the red line to Vossmeyer. Bossmeyer moving right to left across the field, across the Canton red line. Sends it forward in the Louisville zone for Kia. Kia out on the point, back at midfield to Vossmeyer in the corner for Pikasinski. Rudy looking for a feed to Kia, he scores! Good work in traffic by Pikasinski and Kia. And the invaders tie it very quickly. Time of the goal, 128. Kaczynski sent a bouncing ball through the goal crease and Kia popped it in the upper part of the back of the net. That's Kia's fourth goal of the playoffs. Rudy Pikasinski now has five assists in the playoffs and leads all playoff scorers now with eight points and the game is tied 1-1. Louisville doesn't control the kickoff. Here comes Randy Pikasinski to Les Wall Wallfeed comes out behind Randy but back out to Mike Paxos. Paxos to Condridge, he shoots, that's blocked by Mike Ball. And back out at midfield, here comes Louisville, two on one. Schlotthauer back on D, Orhan, and the shot, kick saving a dandy by Swanner to Rob Gary Amla. Schlotthauer clears it out to midfield, Paul Cato back there waiting for it for Louisville. Cato to the red line, his pass intercepted by Randy Pikasinski. Schirelli trying to get away from Amla and does. Lesh, around one, he shoots, it's blocked by Janusz Mahalik. And Orhan has it for Louisville. Orhan, ball knocked away by Schlotthauer, taken by Randy. Schlotthauer winds, fires, Cato blocks that out to midfield. And Amlong comes the other way, bad pass taken away by Paxos. He dumps it in the goal box for Jamie Swanner, ahead to Tom Kondrich. Kondrich and uh, Pikasinski and Scarelli are your forward line with Paxos and Schlotthauer on defense. It's fall, Orhan and Amlong up front for Louisville, a shot by Orhan right into the chest of Swanner. The defenders are Mahalik and Cato. 12-17 to play in the first quarter. The game is tied 1-1. Lesh Girelli near the midfield circle. Lesh now in the circle with Cato on D. Backs it up to Schlotthauer. He sends an airborne for Kondrich in the right corner in the Thunder zone. Kondrich back to the net on fall. Now double teamed by Savick. Ball comes out front to Paxos. He feeds for Lesh. Scarelli trying to get inside Cato. Centering ball is knocked away by Fall, and here comes Cabrera the other way. Gaber up the left side for Savick. He shoots. Swanner with a dandy of a save. And coming the other way, Randy Pikasinski got away from one, and you got a whistle. And a foul coming up with a push on Louisville is their second foul. Scarelli with the ball left side at midfield. Now backs up to the red line. Lesh working against Cato. Now on the right it comes. Schlotthauer will leave it there for Oscar Pisano. Pisano's out there with Tima, Vosmeyer, Kia, and now Rudy just stepped off to complete the line change. Oscar midfield backs it up to the red line to Vosmeyer. 1-1 tie, Kia red line back to Tima, ahead to Rudy. Pikasinski tried to sweep at the Tima. Timmy eventually gets it after the ball was deflected. Now Rudy on the right side comes out back to midfield and it is Pisano there. Pisano, ball headed up in the air by Pikasinski and it sails over the glass and out of play. And it'll be a kick in for Louisville with 11.03 to play in the first quarter. Game is tied 1-1. Kia has scored for Canton. Savick has scored for Louisville. Oh, 
Last night we went over 11 minutes without a goal being scored. Tonight we had two in the first minute and a half. Lackawacki clears to midfield. It's too far for Helen Camp. Bossmeyer leaves it for Tima at the Canton Red Line. Timmy left side of the floor. Helen Camp with him. He sends it long for Pikasinski. Rudy tried to put it through the goal crease for Kia. Got under it and it's up high over the glass on the left side. And another kick in coming up for the Louisville Thunder. Here with WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio, radio home for Invaders Soccer. We'll be with you the rest of the way through the playoffs. Wednesday night in Louisville, Thursday night if necessary. And if the fifth game is needed, back here in Canton. Lackawacki, long lead. And Gabera got behind his man up the left side of the floor. Gabera looking to center, and he missed Savick out front with a wall feed. Helen Camp has it on the right side, tried to center. Vossmeyer blocked it and then dumped it in the goal box for Swanner. Jamie, long outlet for Rudy. Rudy trying to get behind Bakhtiari up the right side, but it was a three-line violation. And Louisville will put it in play back at the Canton Red Line. Helen Camp with the ball on the spot. Taps it back to Surrey. And the middle of the floor to Helen Camp. Rudy's out on him. Left side Bakhtiari in the point. Couple of steps in on Bossmeyer. Feeds out front. And the shot by Cabrera scores! Went right through Swanner's legs, I believe. Cabrera gets the goal. And Louisville leads 2-1. Time of the goal, 4.48. Gabera gets the goal. And the assist goes to Saeed Bakhtiari. Here come the invaders on the attack on the other end. Mahalik and Scarelli fight in the corner. Lash clears out for Randy. Randy to Scarelli, right sideboards out front, Mike Paxos. Paxos with a shot, Lackawecki dumps it out of play with her right hand. Two one Louisville, we have 9.55 to play in period one. Cabrera had two goals last night and another one tonight to give the Thunder the two one lead. Condridge to put it in play from the corner, Schlothauer fires, hit the post! And Paxos with a follow, that one's up in the crowd. Lackawecki, I think, got a piece of that. Just enough to deflect it up against the right post, because Walter had some zip on that one. But it is a goal kick coming up for the Louisville Thunder. Giannis Mahalik with the ball for the Thunder. Ahead, left side midfield. It goes past Orhan, but Anlong is there. Now back to Yilmaz Orhan. Orhan against Paxos inside the red line. Ball deflected, and we've got a whistle. Paxos fell down, and when he landed on the ball, he hit it with his hand. First foul on the Invaders. Two fouls on Louisville. Ball with a shot wide, headed in by Amlong, and sent right back out by Paxos. Mahalik shot blocked by Schlothauer. Mahalik gets it back at midfield. 9.27 to go in the first quarter. Cato pushes it forward for Orhan. Back to Cato. Cato down the middle. Dumps it in the left corner for Amlong. Amlong chases it down, taps it outside, left side to Mike Fall. Fall back out front to Cato. Cato, ball knocked away by Condrich, but right to Orhan. Orhan for Fall, Mike Fall, inside the Canton Red Line. Back to, on the give-and-go feed was behind Fall as they try to get it off Amlong. Now the shot by Orhan, and Swanner dives on that one and covers up. Outlet short on the right side to Paxos. 8.47 to play in the first quarter. Louisville 2, Canton 1. Paxos outlet midfield. This is Lesh Garelli with the ball. Now on the left side, in front of the Canton red line, it comes to Condridge. Tomo picked up by Fall at midfield, moves to his right, pushes it ahead. It's too far for Schlothauer into the goal box. And Lakowiecki clears for Fall, but Paxos knocks it away from him. Randy Pikasinski sweeps it on the right side for Tom Condridge. Midfield on the right is Schlothauer. Inside the Louisville red line, Walter on the right point leaves it for Pisano as the invaders are changing lines. Pisano pushes it in the corner for Randy Pikasinski against Saeed Bakhtiari. Back to the net, Randy outside of the point to Pisano. Now Scarelli posted up up front, back to Pisano again. Oscar puts it in the air, Scarelli and Cato race in the corner. 
Scarelli double team. It's cleared out by Mahalik. Vosmeyer gets it back for Canton at midfield. Good move around Hillenkamp. Vosmeyer for Tima. Tima trying to get inside Amlong. Taken down by Amlong, and that's the third foul on Louisville. 7.50 to play in the first period. Tima outside. Pisano winds and fires wide to the right. Randy and Cato fight for it. It comes out to Pisano. He fires. That hits off Rudy and sails into the corner. Tima's wall feed is knocked away, but it was hit with a hand of, of uh, Amlong. That's the fourth foul on Louisville. Tima looking to trigger it in. He finds Kia right side of the box. Kia centers. It is blocked in the net by Cato. And Helen Camp heads it over the glass and out of play. Another kick in for Canton. 7.32 to play in the first quarter. Louisville 2, Canton 1. Time out on the field. We come back after this message. Vossmeyer will trigger it in for Canton. Vossmeyer puts it in the air. It's headed out by Mahalik. Tima with a shot deflected by Gabera. Helen Camp trying to clear it out. Knocked it to Tima up in the air for Kia, who's pushed, and that's the fifth foul. And Tima and Bakhtiari tangle. And we'll get no calls out of that. One more foul gives the Invaders a power play. Tima with a shot. Locked out front. Kia gets it back. Tried to center. Ball taken away by Gabera. They send it out for Zoran Savic. Savic's pass taken away by Vossmeyer. Sliding play to knock it away from Hillenkamp. And they got it away. Here they come. Three on one. Kia. And Rudy couldn't get the ball to him. And it's cleared out by Lakowacki. Surrey pushes it ahead for Helen Camp, left side in the Canton zone. Helen Camp centers, blocked by Tima. Out front, and they get it to Savick on the right side. Savick fires, hit the post, rebound wide by Gabera. Swanner had it knocked out into the corner. Vossmeyer trying to take it away from Surrey, can't do it. Surrey centers, Swanner got a hand on it, it pops up in the air, and Jamie grabs it and holds on. Outlet right side to Tima, 6.34 to play in the period. Tima's ball for Pikasinski intercepted by Surrey, and he dumps it out midfield right side to Jim Gabera. Now Zoran Savick on the left. Savick near the midfield circle. Drops it back on the right side to Surrey, and now it's Helen Camp in the middle of the floor. Pikasinski on him. Tima knocked the ball away from Savick. Surrey gets it back at the red line for Louisville. In front of the goal box, it comes to Lakowecki. Now Bakhtiari had it knocked away by Kia. Lakowecki out of the net, clears it out to midfield. And it's Oscar Pisano with it there. Pisano dumps it back, Tima on the right side. And now Bakhtiari, Helen Camp with it, dumps it back in the zone and Louisville controls the goalkeeper. Lakowecki outlet Amlong, right side at midfield. Amlong into the Canton zone, picked up by Tima down the right side. Timmy, Timmy with a deflection, ball taken away by Kia on the double team. And here comes Kia off the left side of the floor. Hit for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy on the right at the Thunder red line. Couple of steps in, trying to move on Helen Camp and back to Yari. Off the boards, wall feed, Kia. Good save by Lakowacki. AJ with the outlet to Amlong. Amlong picked up by Tima. And ahead it comes to Savick. Savick down the left side, shoots, and Swanner comes up big in front of the invader net. Five minutes, 15 seconds to play in the first period. Louisville two and Canton one. Thunder will have a corner kick from the right side. Line changes uh, coming on. It's Paxos, Kondrich, Scarelli, Randy Pikasinski, and Schlothauer for Canton. Orhan, Fall, Amlong, Mahalik, and Cato for Louisville. Out front, Amlong shot is up in the stage and out of play. Goal kick coming up for the Invaders. 5-14 in the period, and remember, Louisville has five fouls. One more puts the Invaders on the man advantage. And they were perfect last night on the power play. The, a major reason why they won the game. Walt Schlotthauer will come out of his own end with it. 2-1 Louisville here in the first period. Back in the goal box, it comes to Swanner. Jamie comes out in front of the right corner. Ahead to midfield for Kondrich. Kondrich off his chest, off the boards, double team, lost his balance, Fall comes away with it for Louisville. They attack two on two. Fall now feeds uh, left side to Orhan through the middle. The ball knock didn't get touched, and here comes Kondrich the other way, ahead for Randy. Randy Pikasinski trying to get inside Cato and Fall. 
Leaves it for Schlotthauer at the red line. Back to Randy. Randy taken down by Orhan. No call. And here we come the other way. Orhan in the Canton zone. Put it in the cheap seats. Four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Here with 94 FM, WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. Louisville 2, Canton 1. Invaders with a ball. Swatter dumps it ahead to Walt Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer outside the red line. Pushes it forward for Condrich. Condrich got it away from Fall. And Tomo head for Scarelli. He shoots. No, hit the post. And coming out is uh, Mahalik to Orhan. And now here's Amlong. Amlong through the midfield circle. Schlotthauer and Paxos back on D. Fall. Sliding play by Schlotthauer to take it away. Cato got it back. Dumps it in the corner. They try to center. And Amlong whiffed on the bicycle kick attempt. And Scarelli has the ball for Kent. Les Scarelli near the midfield circle. Amlong is with him. Scarelli in the Louisville zone to Randy. Back to Lesh. He shoots. No. Rebound steered back in by Mahalik and controlled by Lakowacki. Outlet is to Orhan. Orhan had the ball deflected. It's loose at midfield. And Scarelli comes up with it for Canton. Lesh looking for some help. And backs it up to Vossmeyer there in the middle of the line change. Vossmeyer pushes it ahead for Kia. Kia right side at the red line. Lost it to Gabera. And Helen Camp pushes it ahead for Zoran Savic. Savic down across the red line. Shoots and Swanner deflects that one over the glass and out of play. And the Invader defense looking at each other saying, hey guys, we can't let that happen. We got to get things a little bit better organized. 317 to play in period number one. Louisville two and Canton won. This is game two of the best of five series. The Invaders won the first one last night, six to five. Helen Camp will trigger it in from the right side. Helen Camp centers and the shot by Gabera is fielded by Swanner. And he rolls the outlet ahead to Oscar Pisano. Pisano across the Canton red line at midfield on the left, it's Kia. Saeed Bakhtiari keeping a watchful eye on him. And now Vosmeyer on the right side of the circle. Vosmeyer pushes it ahead for Pikazinski. Rudy in the corner trying to center. And it's wide. And Kia chases it down. Taps it outside for Tima. Ball never got there. And Helen Camp clears ahead for Gabera. Gabera backs it up in his own zone. And there's trouble there. Kia shot. No. Rudy rebound. Hit the crossbar. Tima's header is out of play. They mishandled the ball to the left of the penalty area. And the Invaders had a golden opportunity there, but they could not quite find the back of the net. Oh, good grief. Bakhtiari taps the goal kick back at the box for Lakowacki. AJ still got the ball on the floor. Now he picks it up. He puts it back on the floor. Comes outside the box, ahead for uh, Savick. Ball poked away by Pikazinski. Savick dumps it down. Lakowacki didn't get a key, a shot, no wide. And coming the other way is Gabera, 2.20 in the period. Ball knocked away by Vosmeyer. And over to Rudy Pikazinski to Vosmeyer. And he couldn't quite get all the shot, and Lakowacki dives to his right and covers it up. Helen Camp left side at the Thunder red line. Rudy is on him. Back it comes. Lakowacki will take it in the goal box. And now Bakhtiari. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. Bakhtiari clears. Pisano knocks it away from Gabera. Helen Camp knocked it away from Tima. But Pisano ends up with it for the Invaders. Oscar pushes it ahead. Kia gets around the boards to beat Surrey. He shoots and it's in the crowd. Another goal kick for Louisville. This one with a minute 45 on the clock in the first period of action. <laughs> The Invaders have had a wealth of scoring opportunities in the last couple of minutes, but they have just not been able to locate the ropes in the back of the net so far. Lakowacki saying, hey guys, they haven't gone in, but this is sure making me nervous back here. Let's see if we can prevent this from happening. AJ dumps it out to Giannis Mahalik. And Mahalik takes it back in the goal box. Lakowacki, watched by Scarelli, picks it up. Puts it back down and comes out of the box with it. Out to midfield to fall. Left side, Mahalik, forward for Gary Amlong. 
Amlong drops it back. Mahalik with a shot and Swanner with a diving save. Jamie out but on the right side to Paxos. Paxi pushes it ahead midfield for Scarelli. Less with a move around Orhan. Scarelli on the right side at the Louisville red line. Condrich in the corner. Randy Walfeed comes out behind Lesh. And Orhan comes the other way for Louisville. Picked his pocket. Mike Paxos did. And here is Schlothauer. The left-footed fire. No. Right-footed shot hit the crossbar by Walter. And Scarelli gets the rebound for Canton. 57 seconds in the quarter. Scarelli dribbling on the left point. Pushes it in for Randy. Give and go for Lesh. Deflected by Fall. And coming the other way is Yilmaz Orhan. Orhan with Condrich back on D. Shot no. Hit Swanner in the back and came out front. Paxos clears it out of the point. <coughs> Mahalik has it there. It's dumped back out front and here comes Schlothauer for camp. 34 seconds. Walter had trouble and Orhan comes the other way. Now it's Mike Fall. 22 seconds in the period. Cato sends it long. That's going to be a three-line violation. Bring it back to the Louisville red line with 18 seconds to go in the period. Tima right side. Randy Pikasinski shot blocked out of play by Mahalik in 16 seconds to go. The big key here is so far Louisville has avoided the sixth foul. Canton has committed only one foul in the period, but Louisville was in was in trouble with about seven minutes to go. And the sixth one has not befallen them yet. Only 16 seconds to go in the first quarter. I'm sure they remember last night in the first quarter with seven seconds left, they ended up getting the sixth one. In the corner for Bobby Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer trying to get inside Hillenkamp. Ball deflected Cabrera for Louisville. Dumps it out to midfield. Seven seconds in the period. Swanner sends it long, and that's going to be a three-line violation. Take it back to the Canton red line with three seconds to go in the first quarter. Savick to put it in play for Louisville. And he's just going to let it go. And that one's in the crowd. And now two seconds left. As the Invaders should have a goal kick off of that. Nope, they're going to give him a corner kick. That did not appear to have been deflected. But they're going to give him a corner kick. Two seconds. Helen Camp to put it in play. Outside Savick, and that one is out of play, and now the period's over. At the end of one quarter, the Louisville Thunder two, and the Canton Invaders one. We come back in a moment. The left side goal, and Lakowiecki will be in front of the right side goal, the one at the stage end of the Civic Center. Scarelli, Randy Pikasinski, Kondrich, Schlothauer, and Paxos for Canton. Amlong, Fall, Orhan, Mahalik, and Cato are the five men on the floor for Louisville. Randy drops it back for Kondrich. Tomo at the Canton red line. Surveys the situation. Couple of steps on Fall. Sends it ahead. Randy in a race with Cato. Lakowiecki got there first. Clears it out. Scarelli couldn't get it, but Kondrich heads it forward. Lands at the feet of Scarelli. Scarelli trying to get around Orhan. Three Louisville players around him. It's blocked out of play. Touched last by Lesh, and Louisville will kick it in. From their own zone, touch line left side. We've played just 21 seconds of the second period. No penalties in the game so far. And a 2-1 lead for the Louisville Thunder. They dump it out midfield. Orhan, it goes around him. Fall can't control. Paxos for Canton. Ahead for Scarelli at midfield. Lash up the left side of the floor for Pikasinski. Randy with Orhan and Cato around him. Taken down. No call. Orhan pushes ahead. And Orhan right edge of the midfield circle. And he led it too far for Gary Amlong. And the invaders will regroup in their own end. Mike Paxos drops it back to Scarelli. Lash outside the red line through the midfield circle. Ahead it comes to Randy Pikasinski. Randy is fouled by Cato on the push. And that's the first foul on either team in the second period. Schlothauer will put it in play for Canton. Touch line left side in the Louisville zone. Walter taps it in the corner for Scarelli. Lash back to the net against Mahalik. Dumps it out front for Schlothauer in the midfield circle to Paxos. 
Axos. The ball hit it out by Fall to Orhan. And it's loose on the right side, and Condridge comes up with it. Ahead for Randy. Randy in the corner. Wolfie knocked out of play by Gary Amlong, and that'll be a corner kick for Canton from the right side. Condridge will trigger it in. Tomo to Paxos. He shoots Lakowecki with a save, and then the ball pops up in the air, and A.J. catches it. Lead ball knocked away by Schlonhauer. Randy Pikasinski is hammered by Cato. That's two minutes. No question about that. Cato really decked Randy Pikasinski. And the Invaders will go on their first power play of the night. The time of the penalty will be 1.22 of the second period. As Paul Cato will sit down for two minutes, hopefully less. If the Invaders score, he gets to come out. Dangerous play is the call on Cato. And Canton will go on the power play for the first time tonight. They scored two for two and a penalty kick goal on the power play last night. Wassmeyer, Schlothauer, Pisano, Rudy Pikasinski, and Kia, the man up team, all through the box, headed out by Tom Hayes, who's helping to kill the penalty for Louisville, along with Bakhtiari, Gabera, and Surrey. Surrey's got the ball right now for Louisville. Takes in the Canton zone. And you got a trip call against either Vosmeyer or Pikasinski. That's the first foul on the Invaders. Team fouls even at one apiece. Minute 42 in the penalty. Louisville will dump it out to midfield and chew up a little more time. Bakhtiari ahead for Gabera. Gabera double teamed in the corner but gets it back out to Surrey at midfield. Surrey back to Bakhtiari. Saeed, the Louisville red line. Minute 26 in the penalty. Pushes it ahead for Tom Hayes. Hayes left side in the Canton zone. Spins out back to the net. Lost the ball. Pisano got it for a second. And Pisano will come away with it. And the Invaders will resume the attack with a minute 11 left in the man advantage. Oscar, right edge of the midfield circle. Into the Louisville red line. Right side to Kia. He fires off the wall. Lost his shoe. Rudy couldn't get to the rebound. And Kia playing with one shoe. Hustles after it, but Lakowacki pounces on the loose ball. Long lead by A.J. is too far. Three-line violation. Bring it back to it with 12 and a half minutes in the quarter and 52 seconds in the penalty. Louisville leads 2-1. Invaders on the power play after the dangerous play penalty on Paul Cato. Vossmeyer dumps it on the right side to Pisano. Back to Bobby Vossmeyer, middle of the floor. Couple of steps in on Hayes. Left side, Slothauer winds, fires. Lakowecki had it pop away. Rudy couldn't get to the rebound. Surrey dumped it out to midfield. Pisano has it there. Gabera's with him. Midfield circle to Vossmeyer. 34 in the penalty. Schlothauer tried to center. Hayes blocked it and clears it out again. Vossmeyer flags that down. 26 seconds in the penalty. Ahead for Pisano, who heads it back to Vossmeyer at the Canton red line. They'll have time for one more rush. 18 seconds in the penalty. Kia in the corner, tried to center block. Rudy with a follow, hit the post. Kia after the rebound, and he shoots, and that's blocked by Hayes. Eight seconds in the penalty. Pisano, red line, and comes to Vossmeyer. Four seconds. Vossmeyer looking inside to Rudy. Back to Vossmeyer. Give and go in the corner now. Schlothauer tries to center. Picked off by Lakowecki. The penalty is over, and Louisville has killed it off. Long lead Cato. It's too far for him. Swanner taps it ahead for Pisano. Pisano. Let's Cato clear by, and they'll organize again at midfield ahead to Schlothauer. Schlothauer. Louisville red line to Kia. Kia in the corner for Rudy. Pikasinski trying to get around his man, and he's double teamed in the corner, and tries to center for Kia, and again, it's intercepted by Lakowecki. 11.05 to go in the first half. Louisville 2, Canton 1. Cato right side. His pass is deflected by Pikasinski and taken at midfield by Schlothauer. Invaders on the attack. They got too many men on the field. And there's a two-minute penalty coming up on Louisville. Louisville had six players on the field. And the Invaders will go on the power play again.
They failed on the first at man advantage. The time of this penalty will be 4.09. Bench penalty for too many men on the field. And so the invaders will try to tie the game again now with a power play opportunity. The penalty will be served by Yilmaz Orhan. Same shorthanded team, Hayes, Bakhtiari, Suri, and Gabera. Same power play team for Canton. Rudy Pikasinski, Kia, Schlotthauer, Wassmeyer, and Pisano. So Louisville killed off the first penalty, but they messed up the line change, ended up with too many men on the field, and they get a second penalty. Pisano, right point area, back at the red line, middle of the floor to Vossmeyer, on the right to Oscar, back to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer, a move inside, and the ball knocked away by Bakhtiari, and Gabera clears the length of the floor. Swanner has it in his end for Canton, and they'll resume the attack. Bossmeyer at midfield. Minute 36 left in the penalty. <laughs> left side feed comes to Schlotthauer. Back in the middle of the floor to Vossmeyer. Now Rudy posted up, sweeps it left side to Schlotthauer. Ball in the corner block. Rudy hustles in after it, trying to get it away from Surrey. Does back outside the red line to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer, left side Schlotthauer. Minute 18 in the penalty. Vossmeyer, a couple of steps in. He shoots wide. Rebound is controlled by Bakhtiari for Louisville, and he clears it out. Bounces down in the Canton zone. Swatter will send it back ahead. Minute five left in the Invader power play. Pisano, right side at midfield. Leads it up the left side for Schlotthauer. He winds, he fires. Blackawecki gave up the rebound. Ball's loose out front, but it landed in front of uh, Surrey. Surrey pushes ahead for Hayes, but Pisano intercepts, and we come the other way. 45 seconds in the penalty. Kia looks to the middle of Osmeyer, blocked by Bakhtiari. Kia trying to get inside him. Bakhtiari goes down, scissored the ball away, but Kia got it back. Good hustle by Kia. Pisano is passed for Rudy, deflected. Rudy got it anyway. Right side to Kia, back outside to Pisano, 28 in the penalty. Pisano on the right side. Oscar looks in, and on the left it goes to Schlotthauer. And back in the middle of Osmeyer, 17 in the penalty. Kia Pisano winds, fires, blocked out of play by Bakhtiari. And the Invaders will put it in play with 15 seconds left in the Louisville penalty. Louisville killed off the first one, and they are 15 seconds away from killing this one. The Invaders trail 2-1, 9.06 on the clock in the second period. Vossmeyer will trigger it in from midfield. Surrey steps out of the power play of the shorthanded team. And so does Hayes, and Fall and Cato are in there on the man down unit for Louisville, along with Gabera and Bakhtiari. Bossmeyer, right side, Pisano. Pisano trying to get in the corner to Key a little bit too far, and it rolls in the box where Bakhtiari can control, and that'll kill off the penalty. Bakhtiari shovels, uh, gets the pass from uh, Lakowiecki, and Amlong with it. Louisville back at full strength. Amlong for Fall, knocked away by Pikasinski, and Bossmeyer controls for Canton. 8.40 to go in the first half. Louisville 2, Canton 1. Invaders have failed on back-to-back -back power play opportunities here in the second quarter. And that has allowed Louisville to maintain that 2-1 edge they had at the end of the first 15 minutes. Schirelli with the ball at midfield, and now it's Mike Paxos, right edge of the circle. Right side at the red line to Condridge. Condridge working on fall. Back outside it comes to Paxos at midfield. Lead ball for Rudy Pikasinski against Cato. Bounces it off the sideboards, and back it comes to Schlotthauer. Walter ahead for Condridge. Condridge trying to work on fall down in the corner. Wall feed loose out front. Scarelli couldn't get to the rebound, and it's cleared out of play by Giannis Mahalik. Invaders will put it in play. Touchline right outside the Louisville red line. And there's a timeout on the field with a score. The Louisville Thunder 2, and the Canton Invaders 1 on top of the Canton Invaders 2-1 in this second game of the playoff finals. Best of five series. The Invaders won the first contest last night, 6-5. Game three, Wednesday night in Louisville. Game four, if needed, would be Thursday night in Louisville. And should there be a fifth game, that would be next Sunday back here in camp. Paxos will put the ball in play for the Invaders. 
Around the boards in the corner for Scarelli. Lesh lost his balance. Orhan clears it out to midfield. Schlotthauer and Swanner flag that down in the Canton zone. And the Invaders will come back up with it. Walter. Looking at Gary Amlong while he's in the arc. Taps it back to Swanner. Jamie in the box, now outside the box. Orhan started to come up. Jamie got the outlet on the left of Schlotthauer. Back to Swanner, and Jamie comes outside the red line, launches it long, headed out by Cato, who was in front of Randy Pikasinski. And here comes Amlong between two invaders, got around both of them. He shoots wide to the left by a little bit. Rebound comes out to Scarelli, and Swanner wants the ball, and he gets it. Picks it up, outlet short on the right side, comes to Paxos. Now on the left at midfield to Schlotthauer, intercepted by Amlong. Amlong down in the Canton zone, reverses his field away from Condrich. Randy knocked it away, but Mahala got it for Louisville. His shot blocked by Scarelli, and it's in the goal box, and Swanner picks it up and holds on. Jamie, the outlet comes straight ahead to Paxo. 6.44 to play in the first half. Line change, team is on the floor for Canton. So is Pisano. Kondrich will step off, and that'll bring Vosmeyer in. They push it ahead. Randy Pikasinski and Cato in the corner. He's taken down hard by Cato. That's the third foul on Louisville. Cato already got one dangerous play two-minute, and that one could have been one, too. Tima will put the ball in play for the Invaders. Tima tried to center, and it was uh, deflected. Oh! Helen Camp put that back in, and A.J. had a little bit of trouble with it, ended up falling on the ball. Mahale clears it out to midfield. Pisano back there with Hayes. They fight for it along the boards. Oscar dumps it in for Swanner. Hayes came flying in there and knocked it away from Jamie. Pisano clears to Scarelli. Left side to Kia. He fires no, knocked out by Cato. Tima has it at midfield. Tima working against Tom Hayes back in the goal area. Swanner. Pushes it ahead for Tim Tima. 5.53 to play in the first half. Scarelli dumps it off the sideboards for Vossmeyer. Ahead for Lesh. Lesh working on Cato. In the corner, Lesh back to the net. Outside it comes to Vossmeyer on the point. Vossmeyer out front for Kia and back to Pisano. Left side, Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer and is knocked away from Scarelli. And here comes Savick the other way. Savick down in the Canton zone. Pisano and Savick in a run. Oscar poked the ball away. Savick got it back. Clears it out. Left side of the point to Helen Camp. Tried to center. Tima knocked it free. And they clear it ahead. And it is Zoran Savick with it. Shot hit the crossbar. And here is uh, Helen er, Bakhtiari. Wall pass through the box. And the follow by Surrey is up over the glass and out of play. Thank you, Steve Paxos. They just got a championship ring from last year. And it looks nice. Here is Tim Tima. Coming out with it for Canton. Under five minutes, 4.57 to go in the first half. Still 2-1 Louisville. Bossmeyer lead for Kia. Kia and Bakhtiari in the right corner. Kia backs it out front to Pisano. Pisano all the way back near the Canton red line. And Pisano sends it ahead for Rudy. Ball knocked away by Surrey. And Louisville comes back the other way. Surrey to Savick. Savick, Vossmeyer on him. Vossmeyer deflects. They dump it back in the goal box. Lakowacki picks it up. And he sends it long for Hayes. Hayes working down the right side in the Canton zone to Savick. Savick picked up by Vossmeyer. 4.20 in the period. Shot blocked by Vossmeyer. And Pikasinski controls the rebound. Back to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer leads it ahead. And uh, Pikasinski and uh, Surrey got their feet tangled up in front of the box, and Rudy got whistled for the trip. That's the second foul on Canton. Team fouls even at two apiece. Four minutes to play in the first half. Lakowecki, long lead for Savick. Savick working against Tima. The ball knocked back but controlled by, at uh, midfield by Hellenkamp, deflected from behind by Pekosinski, taken by Pisano. Oscar 
Right edge of the midfield circle. Pisano against Gary Amlong. Back out front, knocked away. And Vossmeyer can't control, but Pisano does for Canton. Back in the goal box, Swanner sends it up in the air. Off the sideboards, it stays in play for Pikasinski. He's double teamed, trying to get inside. He does, inside, back the eye. Centering ball knocked away from Kia. Bakhtiari rolls it back in the goal box. Lakowiecki, long lead for Savick up the right side of the floor. Tima and Pisano are back on D. Savick took a dive, got the call. They're going to give him two minutes. Two minutes on Tima. He's furious. He should be. So Louisville will go on the power play. Courtesy of an acting job by Zoran Savick. Time of the penalty, 11.47. Tima gets two for the trip. And Louisville, four of eight with a power play in the playoffs. The Invaders have killed off 60% of the playoffs, giving up four goals in 10 man down situations. There's a timeout on the field, and we'll take a quick break and come back. Louisville 2, Canton 1. They'll have their first man advantage situation of the night. Three minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the first half. Louisville with a one-goal lead, 2-1. to one. So the Thunder will be on the power play. They were two for two with a man advantage last night. That includes a penalty kick goal. It'll be Savick, Gabera, Hillenkamp, Amlong, and Fall for Louisville. So one place where they might be vulnerable to a counter because they do not have a true defender on the field. Frick Lola, Randy Pikasinski, and Kondrich. Tima would normally be on the man down. There's a steal by Frick. Frick trying to get around one man. Around two, he does. Here comes Frick with Randy. Frick looks for the feed. He gets inside a man. He shoots wide to the left. Rebound comes out, and Savick comes the other way. Minute 40 in the penalty. Savick dishes the ball back for Gabera. And now it is Hellenkamp at midfield. Hellenkamp, Savick, back to Chris Hellenkamp. Left side, shot wide. Off the foot of Gabera, comes back out on the left point to Hillenkamp. And now Fall up against the sideboards, back to Hillenkamp. Right side, Savick, winds, fires wide to the left. Out to Fall in the left corner. Now Hillenkamp, shot, score! Louisville leads 3-1. Power play goal. Time of the goal, 12-35. And the Thunder pumped up on their bench now as they have moved out to a two-goal advantage. Three to one. Helen Camp gets the goal. Fall gets the assist. So the Invaders failed on two power play opportunities. And Louisville takes advantage of the first one they get. And that puts them up three to one with 2.25 to go in the first half. Two minutes, 25 seconds remaining in the first half. And the Invaders, who own a one game to none lead in this series, now have some, uh, some of their work cut out for them. Wassmeyer <laughs> sends it ahead. Tima had it knocked away by Helen Camp. Gabera and Kia fight for it. Tima sliding plague, didn't get the ball. Kia knocked it away for a second, but Bakhtiari taps it ahead for Savick. Savick, right side to Helen Camp. Helen Camp. Kia deflects, Vossmeyer controls for Canton. Vossmeyer tried to heal it ahead to Kia, missed him. And Surrey dumps it back for Lakowiecki. AJ clears midfield, Tima stepped in front of Gabera to knock that away, and Vossmeyer controls. Now Tima, and it was a little ahead of him, and Savick sends it out for Louisville. Now Helen Camp up the right side. Minute 45 to go in the first half. Invaders need a goal to cut the lead to one. Surrey dumps it in, Swanner to knock it away from Gabera, but Savick got it back. Swanner out to knock it away from him. Helen Camp with a shot blocked up front by Pisano. Here they come three on one. Tima 
with Hosmeyer and Pekosinski. Rudy scores! Rudy Pekosinski. His fourth goal of the playoffs. Tim Tima gets the assist. Time of the goal, 13-34. And the Invaders pull back to within one. Very big goal. I don't need to tell you what a big goal that was. 3-2 Louisville. Orha on midfield drops it back to Mike Paul. Paul. Pushes it up the left side for Orhan. Orhan off his chest, off his foot, off his knee. Taps it on the floor. Tries to get around Pisano. Swanner taps it ahead to Kia. Here come the invaders. Pikasinski for Kia. You got a foul on Louisville. That's their fourth. Third, I'm sorry. Minute six to play in the first half. Now let's see if they could possibly tie it by half cut. Tima to Pisano. Oscar pushes it ahead. Paul heads it back. And Orhan comes the other way for Louisville. 53 in the quarter. Amlong in the corner, through the box, knocked away by Bossmeyer, and it's over the glass and out of play. Stay with us at halftime. One of our guests at halftime is uh, not one of the invaders, but a young man, only 12 years old. His name is Eric uh, Skelly, who has just gotten his license to become a soccer official from the United States Soccer Federation. Ball knocked away. Vossmeyer cleared. Tried to clear to midfield. Didn't get it to Kia. Mahalik back in the goal box for Lakowiecki. And he should not have been allowed to pick that up, but they let it go. 37 seconds. Louisville punches it ahead. Amlong fighting with Tima. Kia to help out. Amlong comes outside with it. 30 seconds to go in the half. Taps it out to Mike Fall. Back edge of the midfield circle. Left side at midfield to Cato. And Orhan had trouble with it. Kia held by Cato. And that is the fourth foul on Louisville. 20 seconds left in the half, and the Invaders will put it in play from midfield. Kia a little slow getting up, and I think he's okay. Tima, left side of the circle to Vosmeyer, ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy back to the net in the corner on Cato wall feed for Pisano, knocked away. 12 seconds in the quarter. Bossmeyer got inside fall. Rudy, he is open. The ball went behind him. Six seconds. Centering ball knocked away by Mahalik, and that's the end of the first half. With a score, the Louisville Thunder three and the Canton Invaders two. And we'll be back to the Civic Center. Surrey and A.J. Lakowiecki remains in the net for the Thunder. Now oh, we got a switch at midfield. Vossmeyer is out and Ken Lola is in. Ken Lola is starting at midfield with Rudy and Kia. Bakhtiari clears ahead for Louisville off the kickoff. Cabrera leaves it for Savic. Savic could not control along the boards as Tima stepped in front. Fires it in the goal box for Swanner. Lola ahead to Pisano. And now Kenny Lola. Lola saw action on the shorthanded team in the first half. Now playing with the regular line. Pisano in the midfield circle. Trying to move around Savic. Does. Sends it down for Lola. Back to the net in the corner on Helen Camp. He got inside Helen Camp and lost the ball. Lakowiecki clears it out to Surrey. Pisano picks him up at midfield. Surrey sliding play by Tima to take it away from Savic. Tima is leg whipped by Savic and there's no call. And Pisano has it for Kent. And now here is Ken Lola. And Pisano left edge of the midfield circle ahead for Lola. Lola back to Pisano. Played a minute of the third quarter. Ahead to Rudy in a race with Bakhtiari in the corner. 
Rudy Savick to double team Rudy trying to get it away Bakhtiari clears it out midfield Pisano heads it to Lola back to Pisano and Oscar knocked it out of play so Louisville will put it in play touchline right side at midfield actually back at the red line is where they'll now they will move it up to the midfield area Cato will trigger it in Thirteen forty-six to play in the third quarter. Invaders trail by one. Cato dumps it back to Lakowecki in front of the penalty area. Lakowecki knocked the balls knocked away. Condrich, Randy ahead to Scarelli, back to Condrich. Condrich working against uh, Amlong. Back in the side it comes. Scarelli looking to center, around the boards for Condrich. Mahalik deflects. Cato clears out, and he will come out of there with it for Louisville. Cato, Scarelli knocked it away to Condrich to Randy, and you got a holding foul coming up against the Invaders, so it goes back the other way. First foul of the third quarter. Cato drops it back in the penalty area for Lakowecki. He picks it up, and back on the floor, and A.J. comes out. Randy to confront him, ahead to fall at midfield on the right side to Cato. Cato's pass intercepted by Condrich. Taps it to Randy, back to Tomo. Tomo lets Amlong clear. Now Scarelli back to Paxos. Forward for Randy Pekosinski. Off the wall, it sails wide. And Lesh can't get it away from two Thunder players, but Pekosinski took it away from the keeper. Fired it through the front of the goal mouth. Nobody home there. Cato knocks it away. Scarelli gets it back in the point for Ken. Lesh on the right side. And his pass for Schlotthauer is intercepted by Orhan. And Yilmaz Orhan into the Canton zone up the right side. He shoots Swanner with the save to punch it into the corner. Orhan centers again, knocked away by Scarelli. And Orhan had it cleared out to midfield to Mike Fall. Fall in the circle. Dumps it on the right side to Mahalik. Mahalik sends it ahead, and Amlong had to slide to get a piece of that. Didn't get enough. Condrich can't control, though. Mahalik and Condrich fight for it. And the Mahalik, uh, con that was Amlong, rather, goes down. Condrich gets the foul. And that's the second one on the Invaders in the period. Orhan to put it in play from the right corner for Louisville. Fall with his shot, blocked by Randy Pikasinski. And uh, the lead ball hit Slothauer in the back of the heel, but Scarelli got it back up the field for Randy Pikasinski. Randy up the right side with Cato. Randy backs it up to Slothauer, and his pass is intercepted by Orhan. Orhan comes out for Louisville. They attack three on three. Orhan dumps it in the left corner. Nobody home there, and Schlotthauer will come back out for Kent. Schlotthauer for Lesh Gurelli, right side at midfield. Lesh. Midfield circle on the right side is Condrich. Condrich had it blocked by Gabera, but knocked back to Tima. Tima ahead for Kia. Kia dumps it in the corner for Rudy Pikasinski, but it's taken away by Lakowecki. Ahead, uh, Helen Camp back to Lakowecki, and he fires it out, and that one scattered the troops on the invader bench. And Camp will put it back in play right side at midfield with 11.26 to go in the third quarter, and Louisville leading 3-2. to two. Pisano looking in on Savick. Back to Tima. Tima pushes ahead for Pikasinski. It comes out away from him off the wall. Bakhtiari ahead for Zoran Savic. Savic's pass intercepted by Tima. And ahead it comes to Pisano. Pisano with Helen Camp. Centering ball. Lakowecki scoops it up away from Pikasinski. Surrey had a handful of Rudy's jersey. The referee was looking right at it and called nothing. Savic pushes it ahead for Helen Camp. He shoots wide to the right. And it comes out to Surrey, and he leaves it there for Savick. Savick, the centering ball deflected, and Rudy comes the other way for Canton. Ball blocked by Bakhtiari, but Kia will come back with it. Clears it back in the goal box for Piz uh, rather in front of the goal box for Pizzano. Lola left side at midfield, pass deflected by Helen Camp. Lola gets it back. Back edge of the midfield circle to Pizzano. He pushes it ahead for Pikasinski, but that one's over the glass and out of play. 10.26 to go, third quarter. Louisville three, Canton two. 
Thunder will put it in play in their own end. No fouls on Louisville. Two on the Invaders in the period. Nobody in serious foul trouble at this point. Blackawecki with it in the goal box. AJ will put it on the floor and come out with it. And the ball knocked away from Hillenkamp by Lola. Pekosinski in a race, he shoots, loose out front, and Hillenkamp scoops it up and fires it out, intercepted by Tima. Tima to Pekosinski in the corner. Back to Yari, out on D with him. Tima brings it out on the point to Lola. Now to Pisano. Pisano moves around Savic, takes him down the left side. Pisano cuts back to the middle, round two, around the third guy, and to jump up in the air, Oscar back to the red line. Pisano. Down in the corner for Pikasinski. Ball loose right into the chest of Lakowiecki. A.J. shovels it ahead. And Helen Camp at midfield for Louisville. Helen Camp pushes it in the Canton zone. It's tapped back to Savick on the point. Savick being hounded by Kia. Zorin backs it up to midfield. And now back inside the Louisville red line to Saeed Bakhtiari. Right side comes to Cato. Cato ahead for Helen Camp. Helen Camp inside the Canton red line. Wants the feed to Gabera. It's behind him. Savick in the corner, tried to center, ball deflected. Tima comes out for Kent. Louisville backing up on D, and Tima will cross the red line. Ahead for Rudy. Rudy trying to get around Cato. He shoots, he hit the crossbar. Right up in the corner. Orhan coming the other way for Louisville. Oh, Lola's with him. Nine minutes to go in the third quarter. Orhan winds, fires, Swanner dives and comes up with it. That was a good one by Jamie. I had to Pisano. Oscar. To Les Schirelli. Schirelli, his pass is headed away by Fall, and Mahalik has it. Right side to Amlong. 8.40 to go in the third quarter. The Invaders trail by one. Amlong back to Cato. Left side, Orhan, and back in the box for Lakowiecki. Outlet to Mahalik. And up in the air, that's going to be knocked away by Kondrich. But Cato controls for Louisville. Randy on him on D. Cato spin move. Ball deflected by Kondrich, taken by Pikasinski. Here comes Randy. Ball slides. Knocked the ball away, but Kondrich got it back to Schlothauer. He shoots. Good save by Lakowiecki. Going to his left. Randy Pikasinski shielded away from the ball, and, Kate, and it's cleared out by Lakowiecki. Breakaway and long. Swatter with a save. And he's going to get a two-minute handball. Time of the penalty will be 6.58. It's a good call. TV replay showed it pretty good. It looked like, from here, it looked like it hit him in the hand. This is going to be a uh, shootout attempt given to Louisville. They'll take it from the red line. He'll have five seconds to shoot. And if he doesn't score, then they will have the power play opportunity. Now let's see who's going to get to take it. Need Jamie to come up big with this if he can. Gabera, the player coach, will take the shootout attempt. He can shoot as many times as he can get off in five seconds. Swanner's in the net. Louisville leads 3-2. Gabera's at the red line. Shootout attempt. Here comes Gabera. He shoots. Swatter kicks him, and he won't get another one off. And the Invaders stop the shootout. Swatter and Tima exchange high fives. And Louisville will go on the power play now for two minutes. Jamie Swanner stops the shootout. Good kick saved by Swanner up in front. 
And Louisville now with a man advantage. They scored on their first power play opportunity of the night. This will be their second. The Invaders will try to kill this off and keep the deficit at one. Helen Camp, right side to Savick. Savick, Helen Camp. Now on the left, it's Fall. He tried to center. It's behind Gabera, taken by Steve Frick. Frick had a little bit of trouble with it, but then got it back. Ball knocked away by Gabera, but taken by Kondrich. Kondrich clears it ahead for Randy Pikasinski. Back to Steve Frick. Minute 38 in the penalty. Fricky will try to use some time. Gets away from Gabera. And lost the ball for a second. Savick gets it back, and now Louisville controls. Mike Fall back to Gabera. Minute 27 left in the Louisville power play. Here is uh, Savick. And now Helen Camp on the right side, Savick. Savick and the ball knocked away. Off the feed to Helen Camp. Randy got a piece of it. It ends up with A.J. Lakowacki. He's out front over to Helen Camp. Minute 10 in the penalty. Helen Camp feeds. Shot in the crowd by Amwall. That'll be a goal kick, Canton, with 7.09 to play in the period and a minute eight left in the Invader penalty. Three to two, Louisville with the lead and they are on the power play right now. Swanner taps the goal kick out to team up, back to Swanner. It's been physical again tonight. Jamie, long lead for Frick. Frick controls off his chest. Working against Helen Camp. Gets away from a couple. Savick got a piece of it, but Frick with good hustle to get it back to Kondrich. And ahead to Randy Pikasinski. Randy had it knocked away by Savick into the goal box, and Lakowacki comes out with it. Ahead to Savick. 43 seconds in the penalty. Back to Lakowacki. AJ, close to the red line. Feeds out on the left side to fall at midfield fall into the Canton zone. Wines fires deflected wide. Rebound knocked down wide to the right by Amlong. Frick controls for Canton. Frick runs around one, around two. Taken down from behind. And there's the call. That should be two minutes. Almost any other time you get a guy tripped from behind like that, it's two minutes. And there's no reason why that shouldn't have been. 24 in the penalty though and the Invaders still with the ball. Frick with it. Frick trying to get around Fall. Fall deflects. Frick got the ball back. Frick double teamed. And there's the trip on Fall. That's the second foul on Louisville. 6-17 in the period. 15 in the penalty. Which is being served, by the way, by Rudy Pikasinski. Invaders will put it in play in the Thunder end. Touch line right. Tim Tima in the corner for Frick. Back to Tima. Tima and Gabera fight for it. Gabera comes away with it. Pushes it ahead. It's too far for Amlong. And Swanner's going to slap that forward to midfield. And back in the Louisville zone, Gabera gets it. But the penalty is going to run out. The Invaders have killed it. Lakowacki outlet to Gabera. Invaders back at full strength. Gabera trying to work on Rudy Pikasinski. And Rudy with a push foul. That's the... Third foul on Canton in the period. Louisville three, Canton two, 5.52 to go in the third quarter. You're with WHBC FM in Canton, Ohio. Game two of the AISA playoff finals. The Invaders lead one game to none. Giannis Mahalik clearing up the left side of the floor for Louisville. Pushes it ahead, and Moise Surrey is in for the first time in the series, and Kondrich took the ball away from him. Kondrich up ahead, the pass hit Mahalik in the back and is eventually controlled by Tom Hayes. Now Cato in the Thunder zone, and Mahalik right side at the Louisville red line. Rudy Pikasinski on him. Back it comes to Lakowacki. AJ clears it out on the left side to Cato. Cato pushes it forward for uh, Gabera. Gabera had the ball knocked away. Kondrich couldn't control. In the box, on the fly by Cato, and Swanner catches it and pushes it ahead for Pisano. And now Tima out across the red line. Timmy, midfield circle. Ahead on the right side in the corner in the Louisville zone to Pikasinski. Rudy's wall feed behind Kia. Lola looking for something out front. 4.57 in the period. Lola and Hayes fight for it in the corner. The two number sixes go at it. Out front for Tima. Tima, wall pass. Kia hit the crossbar. And Lola dumps it back to Pisano. He heads it forward for Kenny Lola, working against Moise Surrey. And Lola backs it up to midfield to Pisano. How many bars and posts can we hit without one going in? 
Mahalik and Pikasinski fight for it. Rudy Steele tried to get it to Kia. It was knocked away by Cato. Tima gets it back on the point for Canton. Tima looking for some room to operate. Finds Pisano. Pisano down the right. He feeds through the box. Nobody can get to it. Kia comes down with it outside. Back at the red line to Tima. 4.15 to go in the quarter. Now Pikasinski give and go to Tima. He's got to chase it all the way across the floor. Timmy trying to get inside Cato, can't do it. And Timmy gets whistled for the foul. Timmy is called apparently for hitting Cato in the hand with his face. 4.05 left to go in the period. That's the fourth foul on the Invaders. Lackawacky with it. Ahead for Savick. Savick lost the ball to Lola. Got it back. In the middle, shoots. Swanner slaps it away. Kenny Lola, there's a collision. And that'll be the third foul on Louisville. As Gabera and Swanner got tangled up in the box, and Gabera will get whistled for the foul. And Canton will put it in play. 3.52 remaining in the third quarter. Louisville three, Canton two. It has been a scoreless second half so far here at the Civic Center. Invaders have uh, created a lot of opportunities for themselves, but have just been a whisker off when the time came to put it in. Swatter to put it in play from inside the penalty area. Taps it out on the right side to Tima. Tima greeted by Savick at midfield. And Timmy's wall feed is taken away by Zoran Savick. Back to Helen Camp and now Surrey. Caleb Surrey ahead to Savick. Cabrera across the floor for Helen Camp. Kia got a piece of it, but not enough. And Surrey comes in the zone for Louisville on the right side. Kia pokes it away from him. And Surrey with a push commits the fourth foul on Louisville. So the team fouls are even at four apiece with 326 left in the period. Each team now has only one more to give. Kenny Lola with the ball in the invader zone. Lowell's out across the red line. Helen Camp on him. The right side at midfield to Tima. He's with Gabera. And Pisano's got the ball now. And uh, Savick is the defender on him. They punch it ahead for Kia. Kia working back to the end of the right corner to Lola. Lola dumps it wide to the right. Pikasinski chases it out in the corner. Trying to center. Savick had it knocked, knocked away from Kia. And Savick clears to midfield. Savick up the left side of the floor. Tima with him step for step. Zorin backs up. Timmy looking for the steal. Timmy got the ball. Savick took the dive. Timmy with the deflection. Here comes Rudy the other way. That's the fifth foul on Canton. Pikasinski shoots. Lakowiecki saves. Pikasinski back in the corner trying to get inside. Lakowiecki is able to control it and hold on. He pushes it ahead for Gabera. 2.41 to play in the third quarter. Gabera across the Canton red line. Down the right side. Shot. Save Swanner. Tima pushes it back in the box and Swanner fires the outlet. Rudy Pikasinski working on back to yard. Rudy down the left side to the middle of the floor. It's behind Randy Pikasinski, but Randy got up to knock it away from Helen Camp. Here comes Kondrich. Left side, right side rather for Schlotthauer. And Schlotthauer backs it up for Mike Paxos. Invaders trail by one. We're in the third quarter late. Randy Pikasinski back to the net left corner against Surrey and pushes it out to the midfield area on the left side to Schlotthauer. Now in the right corner, Kondrich and Hillenkamp fight for it there. Hillenkamp clears to Orhan. He has trouble with it. Double team, but he got it around Paxos. Schlotthauer in a race with that. It's dumped back in the invader zone. Swanner will, will handle that one and pushes it out on the right side to Paxos. A minute 48 to go in the third quarter. Paxos ahead. It's too far for Schlotthauer. Hillenkamp tries to clear out. And it's ahead to Orhan, running down the left side in the Canton zone in the corner with Frick. Orhan looking for some help. And they dump it down the side. It's headed out front for Al Amlong. Shot blocked by really both Paxos and Schlotthauer. And Amlong's second attempt is in the stage. There's a switch on this line. Les Scarelli is out and Steve Frick is in. Randy Pikasinski and Kondrich, the other two players, and Schlotthauer and Paxos are still the defenders. One minute, 25 seconds to play in the third quarter. There's a timeout on the field with a score, Louisville three and Canton two. To put it in play. Invaders trail by one, three to two. Here comes Schlotthauer. Amlong is out near the red line on him, ahead to Steve Frick. 
Crick and Cato. That could be an interesting matchup before the night is over. Schlonhauer pushes it ahead for Kondrich in the corner. Fall is back there. They fight for it. Kondrich trying to get out of a crowd. Fall hauls him down. That's the fifth foul on Louisville. 2,336 the crowd at the Civic Center tonight. And now the score table says, is that six? Or is the invader bench saying maybe? But no, it is only five. We have five up here. Scoreboard says five. So the next foul on either team will put somebody in the penalty box. Condridge outside. Paxo shot blocked by Fall. And Paxos got it back away from him. He shoots. Loose out front. Orhan lost the rebound. Condridge couldn't control. Orhan got it back. 58 seconds in the quarter. Orhan up the floor, trying to get away from a man, but Randy Pikasinski dumps it in the goal box. Jamie Swanner controls. Long lead for Steve Frick. Frick working against Cato, 46 seconds. Pushes it in the left corner for Randy Pikasinski. Dump back to midfield. Orhan comes with it the other way for Louisville. Kondrich with him at the red line. Bad pass by Orhan. Here come the invaders the other way. 35 seconds. Kondrich, right side feed for Frick. Frick trying to spin inside of Orhan. Can't do it. Has to back it outside in the corner. 27 seconds in the period. Now Frick moving back inside on Orhan. Pass outside. Kondrich knocks it back. Frick in the corner. Back to Tomo. 19 seconds. Up in the air. Randy couldn't get it. Neither could fall. Schlotthauer's shot is blocked by Mahalik. Randy tries to head it back. And it's hit in the arm by Orhan. Where's the handball on that? Six seconds. And ahead for Fall. He's on a break. He shoots. Kick save Swatter. Beautiful play by Jamie and it's the quarter ends. We've played three at the Civic Center. The score, the Canton Invaders two and the Louisville Thunder three. Three to Louisville with the uh, final 15 minutes about to get underway. Kia and Rudy Pikasinski have scored for Canton. Zoran Savick, Jim Cabrera, and Chris Hellenkamp have uh, found the back of the net for the Thunder. So the Invaders trying to get things going here in the fourth quarter. They would like to go down to the Bluegrass State with a two-game-to-none lead as they have each of the last two years. And they have that home playoff record to keep intact. They have never lost a playoff game in this building. We're underway. Tima to Pisano ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski taps it off the boards. It's short for Pisano. And Savick ends up with it for Louisville. Savick lost the ball. And Lola taps it back for Tim Tima. Now Kia. And back it comes. Uh, Tima pushes ahead. Pikasinski, he's pushed from behind. No call. And coming out with it is Savick. Savick. Ball knocked away by Tima. Savick took a dive, didn't get the call. Here comes Tima for Rudy. Rudy to Kia. Kia and Bakhtiari tangle up, and neither one can get the ball. Gabera heals it back. Bakhtiari sweeps it on the right side to uh, Helen Camp. And now Savick at midfield, and back to Surrey at the Thunder red line. Forward for Gabera. Gabera with Lola. Middle of the floor it comes to Helen Camp. And the left side in the Canton zone is Zoran Savick. Savick matched up with Pisano, backs it up front to Bakhtiari at midfield. Now Helen Camp at the red line. Helen Camp pushes ahead. It was deflected in the corner, and Swanner couldn't control out front. And that's going to be a dangerous play on Gabera as he had the foot up near the head of Tim Tima. First foul of the fourth period. We've played a minute 15. Invaders trail by one. Pisano with the ball in the Canton zone. And he clears it out down in the Louisville end. Off the boards once Rudy. Ball knocked away. It sails through the front of the goal box. Kia chases it down in the right corner and quickly moves it away from Bakhtiari. And back it comes to the Canton red line. Swanner pushes ahead to Oscar Pisano. Now at the Louisville red line, it's Lola. Lola back at the Canton red line to Pisano. Oscar, it's hit Helen Camp, but Rudy controls to Lola. Lola shoots. It's deflected. Knocked away. It hit Pikasinski in the hand. And that'll be the first foul on Canton. 13-12 to play. Rudy sailing through the front of the goal box. And to keep his balance, had the arm out. He was actually had his back to the ball, and it hit him in the hand. So that's the first foul on the Invaders, and the handball on Fikasinski. Wackawacki comes out of the goal box with it. A.J. ahead for Cato. Cato picked up by Fikasinski. They go on the run. Cato gets around him. Centering ball knocked away by Pisano. And Lola controls for Canton. They were looking for Amlong up front. 
Swanner controls, puts it on the floor for Tim Team. 12.47 left in the game. Invaders down by one. Team pushes it ahead for Randy Pikasinski, knocked away by Cato and controlled by Mike Fall for Louisville. Fall to the Canton red line, the left side of the floor to Orhan, back in midfield to Mahalik. Mahalik's pass deflected by Rudy. Team a sliding play to control. Ahead it comes to Randy Pikasinski. Randy, midfield circle, lets Fall clear by and feeds it back to Kondrich. Tomo for Frick on the left side. Fricky against Mahalik. He winds, he fires. Lakowecki bobbled the ball and then held on to it. And they clear it out for Orhan. Orhan with Kondrich on the run. Orhan with a push to get around Kondrich. No call. And the shot is kicked out of bounds by Swanner. And Louisville will get a corner kick from the left side with 12.06 left in the game. Orhan will trigger it in from the left corner. 3-2 Louisville. Yilmaz Orhan out front. And the shot blocked by Schlotthauer off the foot of Mahalik. Cato's follow saved by Swanner and then dumped out of play. And that'll be a goal kick for the Invaders. I think Jamie may have seen that ball coming when it was about a yard ahead of him. But he got it, and that's all that counts. 12 minutes left in regulation time. And the Invaders trail by one, 3-2. Louisville in the process of getting the line they want out on the field. And now we're ready to go. I think. Yep, Swanner ahead to Schlotthauer. Walter. Out across the red line. Louisville backed up in their own end more so than they have been in the first three quarters. Condrich, front edge of the midfield circle against Helen Camp, backs it up Schlotthauer. Down in the corner, Frick and, uh, and uh, Bakhtiari are there, and it squirts in the goal box. Lakowecki, long lead. Schlotthauer heads it up in the air, and it goes out of play. Louisville will kick it in, touch line left side. Inside the invader red line with 11.39 left in the game. Helen Camp drops it out to Bakhtiari, and now Savick. Savick inside Gabera had it knocked away by Paxos, and it's picked up by Swanner. Jamie, outlet short on the right side to Paxos. Mike at midfield, picked up by Gabera, clears it ahead for Randy Pikasinski. Pikasinski back to Paxos, he shoots, and a diving save by Lakowecki going to his left. AJ controls it. And the long lead is too far for Gabera. Paxos will control that for Canton. Dumps it in the goal area. Swanner scoops it up. Fires it ahead for Steve Frick. Frick working on Bakhtiari on the right side in the Louisville zone. Back out at the red line to Schlotthauer. He winds. He fires wide to the right. Condrich looking for it. Rebound. Knocked in. No. Condrich. Second shot. Frick out front. Trying to get around a man. He shoots. It's wide. And Lakowecki scrambles after the rebound and clears it out to midfield. Paxos and Gabera in a race. Gabera will back up to take the line change, and the Invaders will control in their own end. 10.35 to play in the game. Louisville 3, Canton 2. Tima directing traffic ahead for Frick. Frick, ball poked away by Bakhtiari. Tima gets it back. Timmy ahead for Frick, and Bakhtiari slides to poke it away. And here the pass hit one of the Louisville players, Amlong, in the back of the heel. Savick still ends up with it for Louisville. Poked away by Pisano. Bakhtiari's back at the Louisville red line to retrieve it, though. And the Thunder now with 10-10 left to go. They still lead by one. Moise Surrey back in for Louisville. Back to Lakowecki and now Orhan. Orhan left side at the Louisville red line. Lola with him on D across midfield. Into the Canton zone. He looks. Centers. Shot wide off the head of Amlong. And Pisano comes the other way for Canton with Steve Bauer into the game for the first time. Here is Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski back to the net on Mahalik. Left side, now double team, got away, he shoots, save Lakowecki. Rebound cleared out to midfield by Mahalik. Lola waits for it there. And back at the Canton red line, he reverses his field and comes the other way. Lola pushes it up, Rudy in the corner again, left side. Wants it to Maurer out front, but it's knocked out of play by Louisville. And with 9.27 left in the game, the Invaders will have a kick in from the left side touch line. Oh, about a third of the way between the red line and the 
curve of the boards. Tima, left point, dumps it in, Pekosinski to Lola. Lola through the middle, ball deflected, and Lakowacki controls. A.J., long lead, Amlong got behind the defense. He shoots, kick save, Swatter. Lakowacki, or rather Swatter, there's a shot, and a block off the feed by Fall by Pisano. Here comes Maurer the other way. Invaders attack three on three. Maurer to Pekosinski, centers, ball deflected and cleared out by Mahalik, and Fall's got it at midfield. Mike Fall dumps it back to Orhan. 8.55 left in the game, and it's still 3-2 Louisville. Orhan, middle of the floor for Fall, and he didn't pass it to anyone in particular, and that left Maurer control it for Canton. Here is Tima in the zone. Tima's pass knocked away by Hayes. Timmy got it back, trying to get inside Moise Suri. Now Timmy looking to back it back up out front, does the red line to Pisano. Pisano looks inside, shoots. No, Rudy trying to get it away, fell down. And Moise Suri clears it out to Orhan, and now it's Hayes left side at midfield. Lola back on D. Hayes trying to make a move, and he didn't get much on the shot. Pisano got it, and uh, there's a shot wide again. Hayes with a follow, no. Somebody tackled Swanner, it looked like, out front. But it's out on the point, and Maurer with good position, but he couldn't keep it away from Savick. Sliding play by Pisano. Swanner pounces on the loose ball, and there are Louisville players bouncing all over in there. Swanner with a long lead to Pikasinski. Rudy back to the net in the Thunder zone on Surrey. And now it's Kenny Lola. 7.52 left in the game. The Invaders trail by one in game two of the series. They won the first game last night. Tima pushes it ahead for Pikasinski. Shot no. Surrey got a piece. He clears it out. And now Pisano in a race with Hayes. And Pisano got there. Took it away from Hayes. Took it away from Savick. But Pisano gets the trip. That is the second foul on Canton in the period. One on Louisville, 7.34 left in the game. Louisville leads three to two. And the crowd voicing their opinion of the officiating. That was a questionable call. Bakhtiari has it, pushes it ahead for Hillenkamp. Hillenkamp fights with Lola, Timo over to help out. Ball squirts free. Tima had it knocked away. Savick there to double team. Savick and Tima collide. Helen Camp taps it out to midfield. And Bakhtiari now to Zoran Savick. Savick moving left to right across the floor. Midfield circle to Helen Camp. In the air for Hayes. Back to Savick. Savick loose out front of the net. Lola on D with him. Seven minutes left to play. Zoran Savick back out to Bakhtiari. And now Lakowecki in front of the goal arc in the Louisville zone. Clears it. That's too far. Three-line violation. Take it back to the Louisville red line. 6.46 on the clock. Invaders need one to tie, two to win. Tima will trigger it in from the red line. Pushes it in. It's stepped right back out by back the yard. Bob Bossmeyer is back in the game for Canton, and he has it back in the Invaders zone. Ahead for uh, Paxos. Paxos trying to get around Bakhtiari, lost the ball. They fight for it, but Bakhtiari able to clear it in the goal box for Lakowecki. Outlet comes ahead to Orhan across midfield on the left side. Orhan in the Canton zone. Ball poked away by Bakhtiari, by uh, Bossmeyer ahead to Frick. It's knocked up in the air by Mahalik, and that should be Canton's ball, and it is with 6.17 left in the game. And there's a timeout on the field with a score, Louisville three and Canton two. And possession, touchline right in the Louisville zone. Bossmeyer is out there with Paxos, Kondrich, Randy Pikasinski and Frick. Now, Kondrich has moved back to defense. Replacing Schlotthauer. There's a ball up front that nobody can get to, and it's cleared out by uh, Amlong. And that moves Vossmeyer to midfield with Randy Pikasinski and Frick. Vossmeyer, midfield circle for Canton. Ahead to Paxos. He leaves it for Frick. Frick moves across the floor, right to left. 5.56 to go. Bossmeyer at the red line. 
Right side to Pekazinski. Ball knocked away by Moise Suri. Randy got it back. Tried to dump it in. Moise controls and fires it out to midfield. Kondrich chases it down there up against the left sideboards. And we've got a whistle. Now, what's the call? They're going to put it in play from the midfield area. I don't know what the stoppage is for. Ball deflected by Fall, and it lands in his own bench. And the Invaders will put it in play. Right side at midfield, 5.33 left to play. Bossmeyer puts it in the air for Randy Pekazinski. Heads it into the box, but nobody home. And Lakowiecki clears. Orhan ahead to Amlong. Amlong off his head. Vossmeyer poked it away from him. And the invaders come the other way. Vossmeyer allows a couple of defenders to clear and will set up. 5.15 to go. Louisville by one. Right side feed for Randy. Back to the net in the corner on fall. Turns faces fall. Double teamed with Orhan. And the ball comes away to Yilmaz Orhan. Orhan coming out for Louisville. Vossmeyer knocked it away from him. Bossmeyer had it deflected by Mahalik and taken back by Orhan. They fight for it. Frick there to help out. Around the boards, looking to center. Ball loose out front. Cleared out to midfield. It hit Bossmeyer in the head. Stays in play. But it lands at the feet of Gary Amlong for Louisville. Paxos with position on the boards, however. Clears it back to Swanner. Pushes it ahead to Vossmeyer. 440 left to go. Bossmeyer ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski on the right side to Kondrich. Kondrich winds, fires. It was blocked by Mahalik. And uh, Amlong clears it ahead. On the run is Fall up the left side. Sliding play by Vossmeyer to take it away. Fall with a push. Ref's looking right at it. No call. Here we go the other way. Pisano pushes it ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. And Lakowiecki catches it off the boards. 4.14 left. Lakowiecki long lead for Helen Camp. It's a three-line violation. Bring it back the other way. Invaders will put it in play from the Thunder red line. 4-10 left, Louisville 3, Canton 2. It's been that way since halftime. Pisano will put it in play for Canton. Oscar. Ahead for Rudy. Rudy can't get a shot away, and it's dumped out of play by Caleb Surrey. Louisville wanted the ball. That would have been like asking for some extra Easter eggs if you'd been a bad boy. There's no question about that. It goes back to Canton. Lola will put it in play from the right corner. Lola surveys the situation. Vader's trail by one. Lola to Pisano. In the middle. Shot by Maurer. Deflected out. And Maurer goes after the rebound. Gets it to Tima. Tima to Pisano. 3.57 to go. Shot save. Rebound. Lola hit the crossbar. Back out front, it comes to Pisano. And the ball knocked free. Lola trying to get inside. Taken down by Savick. And there's the second foul on Louisville. They'll put it in play from outside the left corner of the box. Pisano to Lola. Lola off the boards. Maurer couldn't get it away from Bakhtiari. Ball still loose out front. Lola shoots wide. Rebound. Tima couldn't get there. Helen Camp took it away for Louisville. Ahead it comes to Savick. They may have a break. Up the right side is Helen, is Gabera. He shoots. Swanner with a save. And it's knocked free to Pisano, who heals it back to Jamie. Long lead is too far for Lola. But Rudy, trying to get it in the corner, can't do it. It rolls around the boards to Lakowiecki. 3.20 left in the game. Lakowiecki ahead to Surrey. Surrey pushes it forward for Helen Camp. And again, it's Surrey. Midfield. Lead ball for Gabera. Nobody marking Savick up the left side. And they didn't get the ball to him before the invaders got back on D. Out front it comes to Helen Camp. Helen Camp at the red line. Three minutes left in the game. And now Gabera, right side of the box. Gabera out front, wants the left-footed shot. He can't get it because Pisano's in his face. Tima deflects from behind, and Pisano comes away with it for Canton. How soon will you go to the sixth attacker? Maybe right now. Invaders call timeout with 2.44 left to go. We'll come back in a moment as the extra attacker for the Invaders. Out there with him, some big guns. Kia, Rudy Pikasinski, Maurer, Vossmeyer, and Schlothauer. 
with Pisano as the extra attacker. Louisville will counter with both Caleb and Muiz Suri. Hayes, Bakhtiari, or is it going to be Bakhtiari? Savick is coming out. Yeah, and it is Bakhtiari. 2.45 to play. Invaders trail by one, looking to tie with the sixth attacker. All the scoring in the game so far took place in the first half. Steve Maurer, red line to Pisano, left side at midfield to Schlotthauer. And Pisano in the midfield circle. Oscar with Savick puts it in the air for Rudy in the corner. Pikasinski back to the net, trying to get a feed inside. Ball loose. Rudy had it knocked away by Savick. And the foul goes against Savick on the push. And that should be the third one on the Thunder. 2.26 in the game. They'll restart from the corner. Right side, Vossmeyer to put it in play. Vossmeyer. Centers, shot Maurer, hit the post, rebound Kia, put it in the stage. So that'll be a goal kick for Louisville with 2.24 left. Louisville will change some personnel. Gabera comes in. And Moise Suri sits down. I guess that's the only change. Lakowiecki to put it in play on the goal kick. 2.24 to go. Louisville by one. He dumps it out to midfield off the boards. And Schlotthauer has it there. Puts it ahead, but it's controlled by Hayes. Hayes down the left side with Maurer. Trying to get some help out there. He backs it up to Savick. And now Suri. And back to Lakowiecki. 2.06 left. Lakowiecki, long lead. Gabera heads it, but he can't control. Maurer drops it back to Pisano, and the Invaders come back on the attack. Under two minutes, a minute 56 left to play. Right side, Maurer. Maurer in the corner, right side. The pass for Rudy hit the referee and is cleared out. Savick puts it in the air. It stays in play in front of the Invader net. But Schlotthauer will get there ahead of Hayes and clear it out. And Rudy heads it up in the air. Kia can't get it. Now he does get it. And back up to Schlotthauer. Minute 34 to go. Here comes Pisano. Canton trying to tie it. Louisville trying to tie the series. Shot by Schlotthauer is blocked by Bakhtiari. And it goes all the way back in the invader end. And Pisano's got to chase it down again. A minute 18 to go. Left side at midfield is Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer to the red line. Minute 11. Vossmeyer steps inside, shot, no one controlled by Lakowiecki. Long lead, he throws it the length of the floor, that may go in, no, it's just wide to the right. And Pisano controls for Canton ahead to Kia, 58 seconds left in the game. Invaders trail by one in game two of the final series. Vossmeyer, red line on the right side to Maurer. Maurer, back to Pisano, 48 seconds left in the game. Vossmeyer, back to Pisano in the middle of the floor. Pisano, right side, Maurer, centers, knocked loose in the corner. Schlotthauer shoots through the box, no, 38 seconds. Maurer clears it back out front. Pisano, left side, Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer up in the air, caught on the fly by Lakowiecki. 30 seconds in the game. Lakowiecki wants timeout with 27 seconds to go. And Louisville with a one-goal lead trying to tie this series and take it back to Louisville. The Invaders have never lost a playoff game at home. That streak will end if they don't find a goal in the next 27 seconds. Fans here trying to pump them up a little bit. We need a goal to force overtime. And Louisville will control when they put it back in play. No scoring at all in the second half. The 3-2 score was the score at halftime. head down to Kentucky for the next two games, Wednesday and Thursday. We've gone over 30 minutes without a score. Lakowiecki and Bakhtiari around the ball. Lakowiecki to Bakhtiari, back to AJ, 25 seconds. Lakowiecki 
fires it out to midfield and it's taken there by Hayes. Hayes and Maurer fight for it. Maurer taps it off the boards. Here comes Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer shot caught by Lakowiecki. 12 seconds in the game. Lakowiecki outlet to Gabera. Nine seconds. Gabera still has it at midfield. Gets around Schlotthauer. And it's knocked back to Pisano, but only four seconds to go. Oscars lead headed to Rudy. The game is over. Louisville wins 3-2. to two. And the series is tied at one apiece.